always, thank you, and we'll be checking in shortly. Talk to you soon. All right, well, baseball spring training is in full swing in both Florida and Arizona, but there's one familiar face who has not been invited to the party. Barry Bonds, one guy who never misses a party. Our own Rick Harrow, pretty Ricky, what they call him. He joins us now from West Palm Beach, Florida. Good morning to you, sir. Barry Bonds is the all-time home run king, and the man can't find a job. What's the problem? Well, you know, when you say good morning, will you at least let me say good morning to you back? Or are you going to just start well, in no, this? Well, no, I uh, didn't want to take time with the pleasantries, I, so we could just get I, right I know. I'm, I am not feeling very well this morning, so yeah, I got okay? Barry White. I'm going to break out in a song if you don't be careful and watch yourself, okay? <laughs> and I, I know, I know Betty. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> hey, you know what? Record attendance in baseball, $400 million franchise values. The business is better than ever, but the guy can't find a job. He had 30 home runs or so last year, eight years of record attendance in San Francisco. And the bottom line is that it's an indictment. There is controversy around him, and so maybe that's the reason. The other bottom line is that he really has a situation where maybe people don't trust him and don't believe him. But it's not a popularity contest. Roger Clemens has some issues with memorabilia as well, and so that shouldn't drive the decision. And by the way, it's not over yet. He may sign before the season begins. He may sign. Is there any indication, because you know there's been talk out there, that the, uh, that the owners, the GMs, kind of getting together behind the scenes and, 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 make, and making a conscious effort, say, hey, we are going to, we're, we're, we're not going to hire this guy. Well, you know, that's a nice thing to say, but you got a guy who's hit so many home runs in his career and can help somebody, and you can always say, all else being equal, I'm not going to sign him. But there's always one team that says, yeah, but this guy can really help us, so we'll see. But that one team, no matter where he's go, he goes, if it's not in the Bay Area where he is loved, but anywhere else, can he, uh, you know, is he going to, are fans going to accept him anywhere else in any other ballpark in this country? There are a lot of examples in Major League Baseball and all sports where Attila the Hunt can sign with somebody, and if he hits home runs, they're going to love him, embrace him, and all of that. You know, the bottom line of this whole scandal, which is important to remember, is Probably not one set of fans gave up their tickets, and not one corporation yeah. stepped away from baseball because of it. So now we're not talking about the party or Roger Clemens or this or that or Capitol Hill. We're talking about stuff on the field, and I think that's important. All right, let's talk about um, undefeated. We were talking about the Patriots, everybody w w watching their run to perfection. Of course, they lost in the Super Bowl, as you predicted. But um, now we got somebody else driving for perfection in college basketball. Memphis, the Tigers, um, had a big test tonight, one versus two. They're playing Tennessee, but are people going to follow this as a magical season as well? Are people starting to, to get into this and believe? Because this is a pretty historic thing if they're able to go undefeated during the regular season. Well, they sure are in Memphis, and they sure are in Tennessee, because remember, they play Tennessee today, and Duke and North Carolina, big-time rivalries. Kansas is there. We've got a couple of rabid fans very close to your heart in Texas and Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So, look, the whole situation is that college basketball begins its real time now. March Madness, what happens? You have people filling out those brackets. They don't even know basketball, but it's one of those social things. And then when the tournament starts, you have uh, lost productivity more than ever before because oh, yeah. this is a water cooler type of conversation, believe me, and a half billion dollars of economic impact as we get closer to San Antonio where the Final Four is. This yes, year. and finally, you mentioned water cooler talk. We've got some more because we have a tennis story. To tell you about or to talk about here um, a tennis legend if you will if we uh, could put up this picture here Rick and I need you to explain to me what is happening in this photograph and why for goodness sakes is your shirt off? oh my god <laughs> what is going on we call you pretty Ricky but I, I called you that before I even knew about this picture we should have known Wow, Rick. that's a really, really, really good picture. I have some uh, Put it back up, friends yes. now. I know, I know exactly where that came from. <laughs> and that's good because that's one less person I have to uh, put on my Christmas card list. Well, what's up that, with the Grizzly Adams beard thing you like going that? on? What's that all about? about? I happened to win that match, by the way. That was a very good... Well, that's, that, was, uh, you know, that was what you were in the 70s, right? <laughs> Did you play the match with your shirt on or off? Is it... No, off. Uh, there are a lot of people in my life that want me to play uh, matches with uh, my entire body covered, but that's, that's for another day. I can't well, believe you guys so did this. Well, we are so glad that you have your shirt on today. <laughs> I, I'm, taking a, I'm taking a flight up to Atlanta today, and I'm, I'm going to deal with you oh, right now. Oh, we're okay? in so much trouble. Just keep the shirt on, okay? Y yes, we had to, we're so glad we could get that in. Yes, ma'am. Pretty Ricky, we're going to use that every week now. Every week. Yeah, <laughs> right. I needed this this morning, right? Thank you very much. Rick, good to see you. Hope you get to feeling All better, right. man. All right, bye.
I'll cheer you up. I love that. Maybe Boy, not he Rick. is after us. <laughs> we are in so much trouble. Oh, my goodness. Well, folks, uh, Fred as the babe, McCain.